What's going on guys, Idris B here and finally after about 6 months I was able to finish my desk setup, get every single piece that I needed. It took me a while but I finally got my minimal clean desk setup for 2020 going and I thought that I'd share with you guys if you guys were interested in my desk setup. Now before I continue if I could kindly ask you guys to like and subscribe to my channel because it will help my channel grow and I would really 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 appreciate it if you were to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. When planning out how I wanted my desk. I wanted it to be very clean, very minimal, and that's the look I was going for. So most of the things on my desk, or if not all the things under my desk, do not cost that much. This is for people that are budget friendly. If you're looking to do a similar type of desk, you know that you won't break the bank. The most expensive thing on my desk is my computer, which I'll talk about later. And then secondly will be my display, which I'll also talk about later. But for the most part, you will not hurt your pockets while going for any of these things. They're relatively cheap and easy for pretty much anybody to buy. The first thing that I want to talk about is my desk, of course. After I move on from my desk, I'm going to be talking about the display. Next, I'm going to move on to all the accents or the little things on my desk that just make it pop. And then I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I actually set up on the wall. No good setup tour is complete without cable management. So I'm going to be talking about some of that. And then finally, I'm going to be talking about my computer setup and really the heart or the brain of this whole thing is my computer. So I'm going to be getting on that soon. Of course, doing a desk setup tour, I'm going to have to start with the desk. So this desk is a cool little desk. I purchased it from Ikea, relatively inexpensive. As I said, I think it's called the Linman or Lineman. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it costs $50 and can fit into pretty much anybody's budget. It's clean. It comes in white and other colors. So the color that I got to match the rest of my desk is absolutely white. On the right side of it, I have an Alex drawer, which costs an additional $100. I actually have this and another regular metal leg that I got in gray as well. But I got the Alex drawer just for the extra storage. You don't need it unless you need the extra storage as I did. But other than that, you can kind of get away with using any legs that you want. For me, the Alex drawers work the best with uh, my desk setup. The desk is pretty long and minimal. I can fit a lot of stuff on the desktop. It has a lot of weight and something that I do like is that the legs is not actually connected to the table, which makes it easy if you're mobile or trying to move around the desk. Say you're moving out at the end of the month and you just don't have time to take this all apart. You can literally pick it up and move. So I recommend the Linman desk from Ikea. A lot of the stuff in the video is from Ikea. Um, I think that they have really good prices, but anyways, I digress. Now, one of the centerpieces of this whole setup, I don't know what to call it in terms of human anatomy, if this would be the brains, if this would be the eyes, but it's the LG 4K 27 inch display. Now this is a really good display. I like using it for editing my videos, editing photos. It's really crisp, has good high definition, and it just looks really good. It looks crystal clear when I'm editing, which is really important for someone like me that edits photos, edits videos, edits interviews on a computer. Then I went with 4K as opposed to, you know, 1080p because I just want to see some of the details I want to fit more on the screen. So I went with a 4K display, which I'd highly recommend. This LG display comes in at $429 US and $499 in Canada. If you can afford it, you, there's a 1080p version, which I don't really recommend because I bought it at first and it just wasn't that crisp. I could see a lot of pixels and coming from a MacBook, I'm kind of spoiled. So I would like to see no pixels when I'm looking at images. So the 27 inch is good for you. I also like the legs of the model. It's very clean. It's silver and it just matches good with my desk. It's you can adjust it at any height that you want. You could tilt it and rotate it all the way around if you wanted to do that. So if you're a programmer and you're doing a lot of coding, you can literally rotate the screen and get more real estate. One other thing that I like about the display is that it doesn't really have bezels. I wouldn't say it's bezel-less. There's for sure a bezel, but it's not that thick and it's just nice looking. The display itself features a 60 hertz, 27 inch display, free sync. And my one gripe with this desk is that it doesn't have USB-C, which I knew when I purchased it, I didn't think it was a big deal, but it would be good to just have one cord to get around that. I bought a USB-C hub on Amazon and I'll talk about that later, but it's able to charge my MacBook and uh, connect my display to the MacBook, which I'll talk about that setup in a bit. So let's go over some of the accents. On my desk, I have a Google Home Mini, which 
is pretty standard for most offices. I use it to control everything in my room by using smart plugs. It's connected to my home Wi-Fi and I can control my TV. I can control the color of my lights. I can control everything on the desk. I could tell it right now to turn off everything and it will. It's a real essential on my desk besides, you know, playing music, uh, getting the weather, getting traffic alerts, using, using it as my alarm clock. I'd recommend having a Google Home Mini or at least any other smart device on your desk to really give it that character and that utility, I'd say. Also on my desk is an Anchor Bluetooth speaker. I really enjoy the Anchor brand. They have a lot of good product and the speaker is really cheap and it sounds good. I don't use it for editing videos. I really use my AirPods for editing videos or my Beats for editing videos, but it's good when you just really want to listen to something and don't want anything in your ear. You could use this Bluetooth speaker and it's very portable. You could take it around with you if you're on photo shoots or doing anything else creative or just need to listen to music at the beach vibing out, then I'd recommend these. I like that it's there and available to me when I need it, even though I need it 20% of the time. Moving on, I have two lenses on my desk. I have the 50 millimeter F1.8 by Sony and I have the kit lens that comes with the Sony a7 III. I don't really use the kit lens, but I do use the 50 millimeter 1.8. And if you're a photographer and watching this, especially a Sony photographer, get the 50 millimeter 1.8. It's a good lens, very crisp, very clean, and I use it for the detailed shots and I also use it for por portraits. So I'd highly recommend getting the 50 millimeter F1.8. I also have these two green fake plants that I got from Ikea. I think it was like five bucks and you get three. I'd highly recommend those as well. It just adds a bit of character, greenery, and earthiness to your desk setup. So I recommend that as well. Completing out the accents or you utility of the desk. I also have an Anchor wireless charger that I use for pretty much charging my iPhone or my AirPods when I'm at my desk. I really like having it here. It charges it. It's a fast charger. Again, I think it was like 15 to 20 bucks. Really cheap and I'd recommend everybody that is living in 2020 to just pick yourself up a wireless charger, put it on your desk and if you use it or not, you will use it eventually, so I'd recommend getting this one specifically because it works well and it's fast. I also have one of these for my car and maybe I'll do a car tech video. Drop a comment below if you're interested in that, but pretty much I'd recommend the Anchor wireless charger. I also have beside it my Apple Watch charger and it doesn't look good sitting there. I gotta figure out a better solution for this, but I hate the Apple Watch charger and I just, I, I need it. I wish I could get rid of it, but that's the best place for it. And the way it's set up, the cord just doesn't sit right on the desk. It's kind of ugly, but hey, I guess I need it. Why couldn't Apple put lightning in the Apple Watch or USB-C so this problem isn't there? I digress. Almost forgot the lamp. So this lamp was bought on Amazon. It's a pretty nice looking, clean looking, minimal lamp. You turn it on, it has eye care. It also has different modes, different power levels that you can adjust. I usually leave it on the warm color just because it looks good with my videos and it just gives me another vibe. If I'm not on the warm setting, then I'll go with the pure white setting and it just looks clean, makes my desk look flat and one color and I highly recommend this lamp. I got the link in the description below. So you go check out the link to the lamp if you're looking for a new lamp. Okay, so it's time to go through the Alex drawers. I'm gonna go through all of it. Some of them are empty, some of them are messy, but let me just grab the camera off the tripod and I'm gonna quickly go through what I got in the desk. So finally going into the drawers, this drawer is relatively empty, has a bit of personal items, my little wallet carrier case here, a fake Apple Pencil, not a fake I guess, but an alternative Apple Pencil. I did a video on this and the link it will be in the description if you want to see it. Nice Apple Pencil. I have scissors here, my AirPods, which I have a case on as well. And I use this for editing some of my videos as well. In this drawer here, it is literally completely empty. I have the controller for the LED strips on the back of my desk setup going there. And yeah, it's a work in progress, right? And this is where the mess happens. So it's all messy, but these are all the cables that I actually need uh, for editing my video. Sorry if this part of the video is also a little bit dark. Um, let's go ahead and move the lights here. Maybe this helps a bit, maybe not. 
So, yep, I have this here, and this is like a mess of cables, but it's every single cable that I need to make videos, and any type of accessories also lives in here, like the charging uh, battery for my mount, um, any tripod mounts. I have the Zoom H1N recorder that I use to record audio when I'm doing interviews. Um, I keep that here as well, and just random cords and stuff like that. And here I keep the tripod. It's not in there right now. It's just extra storage space. I keep my gimbal as well and other tripods. I'm actually using some of those things, so I took them out. Uh, but yep, that's what lives in here. It's very deep. I like the way it is and you this is an option You can actually get all drawers, but I decided to get this bigger thicker drawer uh, Because I figured I could add a lot of stuff to it like this folding tripod that came out so of course on my my desk faces the wall so on my wall i got a couple of things that i put up there it doesn't look that great but it does add character to my desk setup so like right there you see this lightning thing that i bought on amazon it's a fake led light about 20 bucks as well adds character to my videos and I don't know, I just like it. It adds character to the room in general and relatively cheap. I plug it into the lamp that's sitting on my desk and it juices the, the light there. So I don't know, I'd recommend it for anybody adding a little bit of pop to their room. Also on the wall, I have two little set, uh, mounts that I use to just place my old film cameras. The camera on the right is a Nikon EM and it was released in like 1980, 1979, I don't remember, but it takes really good film photos and I'd recommend film for anybody that is into photography or any kind of aesthetic look into film cameras. So I have that one and I also have the Canon Prima AF9. It's an automatic camera, which I really enjoy because uh, I don't have to f rewind the film every time and do all that stuff. It just does it for you. And I recommend that as well. I have the mount in there. Also on the wall, I have pinned up my Beats by Dre Studio Wireless 3. Recommend these as well. They're really for entertainment. If you're an audiophile, you're not going to like the Beats brand at all. But hey, I like it because it just gives me good sound isolation and I use it for editing some of my videos if I'm not using Using the airpods okay now i'm gonna show you guys some of the cable management and i tried okay before you judge me i tried and it kind of failed but i don't have a better solution at the moment so i kind of gave up but it doesn't it looks better than if i didn't have them and you'll see what i'm talking about in a bit okay this is the mess that i'm talking about here uh, over there is a sleeve that I bought on Amazon. It comes in a five pack and it's attached to these power bars here. And there's a smart plug there, USB C, sorry, USB plug there, my MacBook charger, another power plug there. And at the bottom, it's all the lights connected. And it's kind of an ugly setup. Um, it's not the best. I'm going to work on raising these so it's ab up above and then it's going to look a little bit better. But for now, that is my cable management setup. And now I guess this would be the brain or the heart. The heart is good. The heart of this whole desk setup is the 2019 MacBook Pro. I got this 2019 MacBook Pro like literally the week that it came out and I highly recommend it. If you are looking for an alternative version to the 2020 version, you might be able to get this on eBay or something like that for a lot cheaper and it works pretty well. So I have this on my desk and holding it up is this desk stand that I also got from Ikea. Highly recommend it, it keeps it there on my desk it's elevated so it's out of the way it looks better than it being flat and i could use my macbook as a second monitor with it on the laptop stand attached to it i have velcro the samsung t5 and this is a 500 uh, gigabyte solid state drive that gives me extra space for when i'm editing it's always plugged into the macbook pro so i kind of use it to edit all of my files store things on it i'd highly recommend the samsung t5 if you are looking for an alternative or extra space for your macbook or other computer in addition to that i mentioned about the usb c hub so this is a usb c hub i like the color of it, it doesn't really match my macbook pro i think it's about 50 bucks or cheaper and it comes with 10 ports 
It's uh, it comes with USB ports, micro SD, SD card. It has a USB C port that delivers power. So if you need to charge your MacBook or something else, you can use that to actually deliver power to the device or anything that's connected to the Thunderbolt drive. It is what I use to connect my HDMI monitor, which is not USB-C, but hey, it works. So I use that to connect it to the MacBook Pro and get those going together. And I'd recommend this for anybody that does not have a USB-C monitor as well. I totally forgot to mention that uh, my keyboard and Bluetooth wireless mouse that sits on the desk here and the Bluetooth mouse here. So this is a Jet Tech keyboard, relatively cheap. I think it was like 20 to $30 kind of looks like the Apple Magic keyboard. It's not as good and it is kind of small for my hands, but it does the job. Very minimalist, very clean, and I think it looks well with my desk and matches the desk stand back there. Over here, I have the Logitech mouse. It is a nice little mouse and uh, it has a scrolling wheel, of course, and this button here that does a lot to help me edit and, you know, make clean videos. I recommend this mouse if you're on a budget and don't want to buy the MX Master or anything like that. It's a nice, clean, good mouse, and I highly recommend it with everything in this video. Of course, I say I highly recommend, but I digress. And... I think that covers everything. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you appreciate my desk setup, drop a comment below. If you have any suggestions as well, go ahead and drop a comment below as well. I'm gonna make sure that I have all of the description, all the links that in my description, if you wanted to go ahead and purchase uh, some of the things on my desk, you can go ahead and do that by looking down below. While you're looking there, go ahead, hit the like button and subscribe as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.